So in the last lecture, uh, we have seen uh, the Kalle-Hamilton theorem, and then uh, we have verified uh, Kalle-Hamilton theorem. So now uh, we will see how this Kalle-Hamilton theorem helps us to miniaturize the system. Okay. So <clears throat> what we have seen in the Kalle-Hamilton theorem that every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. Okay, so what we did in the last lecture, uh, we calculated uh, the characteristic equation and after calculating the characteristic equation, uh, we saw that uh, the characteristic equation is uh, satisfied by the matrix and hence we said uh, the Kalle-Hamilton theorem is verified. Okay, now uh, we apply this Kalle-Hamilton theorem. Okay, so let us see how to apply the Kalle-Hamilton theorem. So I hope uh, you are able to see this uh, jam board. Yeah. So uh, we'll go for the example. Okay. So you can see this example. Uh, I hope uh, you can read it. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So what is the example? Uh, we have to apply Kalle-Hamilton theorem to find uh, this matrix. So you can see it is two raised to four uh, five minus five a cube, two into a raised to four minus five a cube minus seven a plus six i, and where a is given this matrix. Okay, now one thing uh, you need to understand. Okay, whenever we have uh, the Kalle-Hamilton theorem, sir, can you send the Jamboard link again? Yeah, uh, I can uh, send you the Jamboard link again. Okay, uh, so please have this uh, Jamboard link Thank again. You so much, sir. Yeah, welcome. Okay. So um, we can see the Kalle-Hamilton theorem. What is Kalle-Hamilton theorem says? If A is a three by three matrix, okay. If A is going to be a three by three matrix, okay. Then uh, we prove that uh, A cube minus uh, S one A square plus S2A minus uh, determinant of A times I is equal to zero. This is what we have proved. This is a Kalle-Hamilton equation. Okay, instead of lambda, now I have written A. Okay, and then uh, this we proved. Now if uh, A is a uh, two by two matrix, okay, then what will be the characteristic equation? Okay, A square, uh, you'll be having uh, plus some C1A minus uh, or plus the determinant of a times i is equal to zero. Okay, this will be the characteristic equation. So actually, uh, what this means, uh, this both the statement means that the a raised to n is equivalently going to be zero. So if a is n cross n matrix, okay, then a raised to n is equivalently going to zero because here the polynomial in a cube is going to be zero the polynomial in a square is going to be zero so uh, we can generalize it and we can see that if a is uh, n cross n matrix then a raised to n is equivalently going to zero now what happens if i have the power of a something n plus k okay so if i have the power of a something which is n plus k and we know this is going to be zero so we just have to think of this a raised to k but if i say that uh, this a raised to n is going to be equivalently zero then what will be the remainder okay so actually the remainder uh, will be in terms of a square okay a and i okay so this a raised to a 
uh, n plus k can be written like this and a raised to n plus k can be written like this so we can see that at the most you have to calculate a square if a is a 3 by 3 matrix at the most you can calculate uh, a raised a for a uh, 2 by 2 matrix so uh, we whatever the power we can have here suppose we have a raised to 50 still this a raised to 50 will be uh, written as alpha times a square plus beta times a and plus gamma times i okay so that means this expression with very high power reduces to this smaller expression or very simple expression at the most quadratic uh, expression okay and this is due to the Kalamantan theorem okay and that's what uh, we are going to see here okay so we have an example and then uh, we have to apply the Kalamantan theorem to find out this matrix okay so let us try to find out this matrix so you got idea now this is a two by two matrix so right now i can predict what will be the answer the answer will be alpha times a plus beta times i okay what will be the answer the answer will be alpha times a plus beta times i uh, we have to find out what is this alpha and beta okay now this is uh, 2 by 2 matrix so remainder will be this so this expression will reduce to this and to reduce this expression we have to use Kalamantan theorem so what we have here late uh, a is equal to the matrix 1 2 2 2 okay b the given matrix so we have so there is no shortcut to find out uh, the characteristic uh, equation for this so we have the characteristic equation of A is what will be having determinant of A minus uh, lambda i. A minus lambda i is equal to 0. So we have determinant of 1 minus lambda, okay, then 2 and 2, 2 minus lambda. And uh, this is equal to 0. So we can have this as 1 minus lambda into 2 minus uh, lambda and uh, this is going to be minus 4 equal to 0. So we can simplify this. So we'll be having this is 2 minus uh, 2 lambda minus uh, lambda plus lambda square minus 4 is equal to 0. If you simplify it is lambda square minus uh, 3 lambda and you'll be having here this term. Uh, what this term is going to be minus 2. Are you getting this one? Are you getting this one? Adesh? Yes, sir. Are you getting this expression? This is going to be lambda square minus 3 lambda, and this is minus 4 here, so 2 here, so it is going to be minus 2. Is that okay? Yes. Are you getting up to uh, this uh, yes, characteristic equation? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So this is uh, is the characteristic equation of A. Okay. Matrix A. Then what the Kalamilton theorem says? So by Kalamilton theorem. What we can say is this theorem says that this equation is satisfied by uh, the matrix. So you will be having a square minus uh, 3a minus 2i is equal to 0. So let this equation 2. Okay. So we have the characteristic equation which is 1. And then uh, after Kalamantan theorem, uh, we have proved that this expression is satisfied by uh, the matrix. So we can uh, assume directly here that yes, this is true. Okay, so which is equation uh, 2. Now see what we want to calculate. So we want to calculate 2 a raised to 4 minus 5 a cube. And then uh, we have minus 7 a plus 6 i. Okay, so uh, if I consider a raised to 4, okay, then I have a square in that a raised to 4. Okay, so that means this polynomial is one of the factor or a part of this polynomial. Okay, so let us divide the 
polynomial by the characteristic polynomial okay so we divide the given polynomial by the characteristic polynomial okay so what we do is we consider okay so we go for the division okay what is the division we'll be having 2 a raised to 4 so 2 okay we have this polynomial a square minus 3a minus 2i and this will divide the given polynomial 2a is to 4 okay minus 5a cube plus 0a square see this a square is missing here so that means it is 0 times a square minus 7a And we are having plus six i. Okay, so this way we have to write the given polynomial. Okay, and now uh, we want to divide this uh, given polynomial by the characteristic polynomial. Okay, so we have to divide this by characteristic polynomial. Okay, so what we want here, we want two uh, a raised to four, and we have a square. So what I can do is I can multiply by two a square. So multiply this uh, polynomial by two a square. So we'll be having two a raised to four minus. You'll be having here six a cube. Then minus. You'll be having four a square. And now uh, we are subtracting this. So the Sign will change, okay, and hence uh, this will go zero here. Six a cube minus five a cube, so we have a cube, and here you will be having plus four a square. The next term is minus seven a. Now we want a cube, and we have a square. So what we have to do is we have to multiply by a, and hence what will be having a cube minus three uh, a square. And minus two a. Okay. So again, uh, we are subtracting. So this signs will change, and now this will go zero. So what this is going to be? It is seven a square. Then we'll be having minus five a, and we have plus six i. Now we have uh, a square here. We have seven a square. So we multiply by seven i. So if I multiply by seven i, then I'll be having seven a square minus uh, will be having twenty one a and minus will be having fourteen i. Okay, so we are subtracting, hence the signs will change, and you can have this term will go zero. This term is going to be how much? Uh, this term will be. Yeah, Tarva. What this term will be? Sixteen A. It will be sixteen A. And what about this term? Eight. Eight. Twenty. 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 Sorry, sir. Twenty I. Okay, this term will 20, be twenty I. Okay, so we know the thing. Okay, this is the divider. This is the quotient. Okay, this is the numerator, and this is the remainder. Okay, so the simple expression that what we know is uh, n is equal to q into d plus r. Is that true? Do you remember this expression? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. So uh, we what what this expression means? We can write this given expression or the given polynomial as uh, in terms of this characteristic polynomial. Okay. And the remainder polynomial. Okay, so we can write. Hence, uh, we have what we want: two uh, a raised to four minus five a cube minus seven a plus six i. Okay, that's what we have. Yes. Okay, and that's what we have. The expression we have. 
So uh, we can write this as equal to. Okay. So we got a square minus three a uh, plus minus two i. So this is going to be minus two i. Okay. We can have this is minus two i times. Uh, you will be having a square. What is the uh, quotient here? Two a square plus a plus seven i. So it is two uh, a square. So two a square plus a plus seven i, and then you will be having plus the remainder term. Okay, so remainder term is what sixteen a plus twenty i. Okay, so what I can say is from equation two. Okay, so what is equation two? If you remember, you can see. That a square minus the uh, three a plus uh, minus two i is equal to zero by Kelly-Meldon theorem. That means this expression is equal to zero, isn't it true? This expression is zero, na? Yes, sir. Yes. So if this expression is zero, zero into this expression, what will be that? Zero. Zero. Okay. So that means what this expression will be? Hence, we get. Okay. So what will be having? We have two a raised to four minus five uh, a cube minus seven a plus six i is equal to this will be zero plus sixteen a plus twenty i. So we got this two a raised to four minus five a cube minus seven a plus six i is equal to sixteen a. Plus 20i, and if you remember, uh, you can see that what uh, the expression I have predicted that it will be of the form alpha a plus beta i, and you can see uh, this expression is exactly of the form alpha a plus beta i. So we know the value of a. So this is 16 times a. So we'll be having one two two two, and plus this is 20 times i. So you'll be having one zero zero one. Okay. So what this expression will be? This will be 16 plus uh, 20, so you will be having 36. This is 32. This is 32, and then again, uh, this will be uh, what this term will be. This will be 32 plus 20, so it will be 52. So what we got here, we got 2 a raised to 4 minus 5 a cube minus 7 a. Okay. My plus six i, so this is equal to what you got here, thirty six, thirty two, and then thirty two, and then this is fifty two. Okay, so this way uh, we are able to get the expression. So actually, what we did, what is the physical uh, significance of this? So this was the system. So uh, after experiments, it was found that this is the best filter. Okay. After experiments, this was found that it is the base filter. Now, how this uh, base filter is constructed? I'll show you. Okay. So it is uh, a raised to four. Okay. So we can have uh, this is a will work. Then again, a will work. Then again, a will work. Then again, a will work. So this is the input uh, signal. Okay. And uh, this is the Filter. Okay. Then uh, this will be uh, two times. Okay. Then uh, we have next. So it is five minus five a cube. So it will minus five times a and uh, a and a and a. Sorry. Uh, we have the a cube. Correct. And then we have minus seven times a and plus six times i. And then uh, we got the output. Okay, so this is the system. So you can see this a uh, raised to four will be operated two times. Then uh, minus a a cube will be operated minus five times, and then a will be operated minus seven times, and then uh, six times i will be operated, and then uh, we get a clear uh, output. But now, uh, due to the Kelly-Meldon theorem, it says that it is sufficient to operate. 16 times a and 20 times i. 
Okay. So we can see instead of this complications that a is to four a cube, it says that simply you operate a sixteen times and then uh, twenty times i, and you will have the same output for the given input. Okay. So this way. This a raised to four, which was unnecessary, which was reduced to a only. So a raised to four is reduced to a. That means the fourth power is reduced to only a single power, and that is what we call as miniaturization of the system. So now, if you see this block, okay, how this block will look like? Uh, this is uh, the input signal, and you are having the output one. Okay, so it will be just sixteen times a. And 20 times i. Okay, so this is plus. So this block and this block, both the blocks will give you the same results. Okay, but it takes to calculate a raised to four, and this is just a. So which will be easy to operate? This block will be easy to operate, or this block will be easy to operate? Which will take less time? Second one. Yes. Okay, so that's how the Kalle-Hamilton theorem helps us. Okay, so that we can uh, just find out the characteristic equation of this filter, and then uh, once we know the characteristic equation of the filter, we can just uh, find out uh, whatever the block is given to us, how to miniaturize that one. Okay, so this is how the Kalle-Hamilton theorem is applied, or what is the meaning of actually what we are doing. Okay, so this is what we are doing. So instead of this block, we are finding an equivalent block which will give the same result. Okay, this will give the same result. Okay. So now, uh, is there any uh, doubt uh, in this question or uh, in this answer? If you have any doubt, you can ask. Naveen, is there any doubt? Oh, sir. Rajiti. No, sir. No doubt. No, okay. Sir. Okay, that's good. Uh, you don't have any doubt. What about Arpita? Arpita, any doubt? Gauri, any doubt? No, sir. Negna, Nihanshu, any doubt? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So all of you got this uh, concept. How uh, we can use the Kalle-Hamilton theorem to miniaturize the system? Okay. So actually, uh, this matrix is a control system. Or it is going to be a filter, uh, which is going to work on a. Uh, uh, suppose uh, we have a signal, and then uh, this filter we are using to clean that uh, signal. When the signal travels through the channel, it gets contaminated, or it gets overlapped with some other, and then uh, we use this. Uh, okay. So um, now uh, we have seen one example. Let us go for. The one more example, then it will be more clear. Okay, so you, uh, now uh, you might have got the method. What we have to do exactly? Okay, so let us go for the another one. Okay. Okay. So all of you are able to see this. Yes, sir. Yeah, can uh, Nayan should read it for me? What, sir? Read this example. Verify Kali Hamilton theorem and hence find the matrix represented by a raised to six minus six a raised to five plus nine a raised to four plus four a raised to three minus twelve a square plus two a minus i. Correct. Where a is yes. three, okay. ten, five, mm. minus two, minus three, minus four, three, five, seven. Correct. 
okay so uh, this example what we have to do in this example we have to verify the callan hamilton theorem as well as uh, we have to find this matrix okay so that means uh, uh, we should know that yes uh, the callan hamilton theorem is uh, true for this matrix and if it is true then uh, we have to uh, find this uh, polynomial okay or uh, we have to find uh, what the equivalent block for this uh, given uh, polynomial block okay so let us uh, try to solve uh, this example okay so we go with the solution now what we have laid a is equal to always uh, start with the given things so we'll be having 3 10 5 5 then minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 3 5 and 7 okay so this be the given matrix okay now uh, this is the 3 by 3 matrix so first we have to find out what is the determinant so what you'll be having consider determinant of a so you please calculate the determinant of a b10 5 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 And this is three, five, seven. So please calculate the determinant. What the determinant you get? Twelve. Is that twelve? Please check. Yes. Others. Yes. Sir. Are you getting the determinant? Determinant is equal to twelve. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, we have this determinant value is going to be twelve. Now uh, next we have to find out the characteristic equation. So we have characteristic equation of a as. So what will be having determinant of um, a minus lambda i is equal to zero. So we have this three minus lambda. Ten and five minus two minus three minus lambda minus four three five and seven minus lambda and uh, this is equal to zero. So what is the shortcut? The shortcut is lambda cube minus s one lambda square plus s two lambda minus determinant of a is equal to zero. Okay. So this is lambda cube. Minus lambda square. What will be having? Three minus three plus seven. Okay, and plus lambda. Okay, so the minor for this three. Okay, what will be the minor for this three? So it is minus twenty one plus twenty plus minus for this minus three. So I'll write uh, this minus. So you can have minus three minus four. Five seven. Then next minus for this minus three is going to be three five three seven, and the minor for this seven is going to be three ten minus two minus three. So give me this minor. What will be having here? This will be again twenty one minus fifteen. Okay. Plus uh, what about uh, this one? So it is minus nine plus twenty, and minus twelve is equal to zero. Okay, so are you getting this one? Are you getting this calculation? Nadit, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So lambda cube minus what this will be? This will be seven lambda. Okay. Plus uh, what these terms are? So this will be minus one. Uh, plus this is going to be six, and uh, Plus this is going to be eleven. Lambda minus twelve is equal to zero. So lambda cube minus seven lambda square, and uh, this is going to be sixteen lambda minus twelve is equal to zero. Let this equation one. Okay. So this is the characteristic equation of A. Okay. This is going to be the characteristic equation of A. Now uh, we can see what this question says. We have to verify the Callan-Hamilton theorem. 
okay so we have to verify the kalamelton theorem and then we have to find out what this polynomial is okay so for verification what we have to do is we have to uh, find what is a square and a cube okay so we have to consider a square what is a square a square is a into a okay so we can have this is uh, 3 10 5 -2 -3 -4 -3 -5 -4 -3 -5 and this is uh, 3 5 -4 and so on and multiply this with the same matrix as uh, 3 10 5 -2 -3 -4 and this is 3 5 7 so i hope uh, you can calculate and give me this value what this matrix is so similarly i can say uh, a cube is equal to a square into a uh, row wise you can tell me 4 25 10 4 25 10 -12 -31 -26 -31 -26 okay uh, 20 50 44 20 50 44 Okay, others please verify uh, these values. Okay, because if any value any value goes wrong, then our entire calculation will go wrong. So we have to be careful. Okay, so what you have now a cube is equal to. Okay, so have this matrix four twenty five ten four twenty five ten. Then this is minus twelve. Minus thirty-one, minus sixteen. Then this is twenty, fifty, and forty-four. Twenty, fifty, and forty-four. And we have this matrix. So, Sir, is minus twenty-six. Ah, uh, please. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So we have to be careful. Okay. So this is three ten five minus two minus three minus four, and this is three five seven. Okay. So please calculate a cube and uh, tell me what is a cube. Minus eight, fifteen, minus ten. Okay, just a minute. Uh, what you got? Row wise, you tell me. Minus eight, fifteen, minus ten. Minus eight, fifteen, minus ten. Minus fifty-two. Minus fifty-two. Minus minus one fifty-seven. One five seven. Minus one one eight. Minus one one eight. Okay. Ninety two. Ninety two. Two seventy. Two one seven. Two seven zero. Two seven zero. Okay. Two seven zero. Two zero eight. Two zero eight. All of you are getting this one. Please verify. Yeah, sir. Okay, that's good. So let us put this values here. So we got a cube minus eight, fifteen minus ten. So it is minus fifty two, minus one five seven, minus one one eight. Then this is ninety two, two seven zero, two zero eight, minus seven times. So what we have here? Four twenty-five ten minus twelve minus thirty-one minus twenty-six. Then this is twenty fifty and forty-four. Then we're having plus sixteen times a. So three ten five minus two minus three minus four and three five seven. Now, what we're having minus twelve times i. 
so it is one zero 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 one zero 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 one. Now uh, give me this value. Zero, sir. Use your calculators to calculate uh, this value. Okay. Are you sure that it is going to be zero? Yes, sir. It came out to be zero. Okay. So you please uh, verify. Because if it comes out to be zero, then this polynomial is correct. And if it doesn't come out of zero, then this polynomial is wrong. Okay. So this is going to be zero. And hence, what we proved here, we proved that a cube minus seven a square plus sixteen a minus twelve i. This is equal to zero. So when we say that we proved this is equal to zero, what is the meaning of uh, this characteristic equation equal to zero? That is the Kalamelton theorem. is verified yeah so we can say this Hamilton theorem is verified okay so the first part of the question is done okay we have verified the Hamilton theorem and now uh, we want to find this polynomial okay so once we verify this so let this equation to okay and now uh, we want to very, uh, we want to calculate uh, that polynomial. So what we can do is consider the division. So we have a cube minus seven a square. And we have this plus 16 a plus 16 a minus 12 i. This polynomial will divide the given polynomial. So what is the given polynomial we have? a raised to 6 minus 6 a raised to 5 a raised to 6 minus 6 a raised to 5 then what we have 9 a raised to 4 okay plus 9 a raised to 4 plus 4 a cube and then we have minus 12 a square minus 12 a square plus 2a and then we have this is minus i so minus i is the polynomial okay please verify is this uh, polynomial okay yes sir yeah is this polynomial okay yes sir okay so now uh, we have to divide uh, this polynomial by this polynomial okay so let us see uh, we want uh, a raised to 6 and uh, we have a cube so we have to multiply by a cube so let us multiply by a cube then uh, what we'll get is a cube into a cube so a raised to 6 minus 7 a raised to 5 plus 16 a raised to 4 and minus 12 a cube Okay, so that's what you're going. Now uh, we are subtracting, so the sign will change. Okay. Now this term will go zero. What about this term? What you will have here? Durgesh? Sir, A raised to 5. A raised to 5, right. Then here, what will happen here? Minus seven a raised to four. Minus seven a raised to four here. Plus eight. No. Sixteen. Sixteen a cube. Sixteen a cube. And next time I'll take down will be 12 a square. Okay, so here you can see we have a raised to 5 and we have a cube. So what we have to do is we have to multiply by a square. So if I multiply by a square, I'll be having 
a raise to 5 7 a raise to 4 plus 16 a cube minus 12 a square and we can see we are subtracting so the change of sign and this goes zero okay so this all terms will be zero so we have to take the next term down to i minus a okay but the degree of this polynomial to uh, i minus a is less than the degree of this polynomial okay so we don't have to divide or we cannot divide further more and hence what you can say is so this is d this is n this is q and this is r so what we know is n is equal to this is uh, dq plus r okay and now using this so what we can say is we have okay a raised to 6 minus 6 a raised to 5 plus 9 a raised to 4 plus 4 a raised to 3 minus 12 a square plus 2 a minus i and this is equal to so what we got here this is a cube minus 7 a square plus 16 a minus 12 i into a cube plus a square and plus 2 a minus i can we write like this can we write it like this yes sir yes so what we can say is from equation 2 we have so what is the equation 2 equation 2 says that this polynomial is equal to zero okay so if this polynomial equal to uh, zero okay so we have this polynomial equal to zero so if this is equal to zero this will be Zero into this polynomial, what will happen? Zero into the remainder will remain. Only this term will remain. This will be zero. Okay. And hence, what we get here? So we get a raised to six minus six a raised to five. Okay. Plus nine a raised to four. Plus nine a raised to four. Plus four a cube. Minus twelve a square plus two a minus i is equal to two a minus i. Because it will be only uh, this term because this is zero into zero. This term will be zero, so only this term will remain. And now uh, we know uh, what this is going to be. So it is two times a. So it is three ten five. Minus two minus three minus four, and this is uh, three five seven minus i. So it is one zero 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 one zero 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 one. So we can easily calculate this. So what we can have this term? So is it five? Then this is twenty and ten. This will be minus four. This will be minus seven, and it's going to be minus eight. So it is six, ten, and fourteen minus one. So it is going to be thirteen. Is that okay? Yes, sir. So what you got? A raised to six minus six a raised to five plus nine a raised to four plus four a cube. Minus twelve a square plus two a minus i is equal to five twenty ten minus four minus seven minus eight six ten and thirteen. So this way. We got the smallest system. This is the smallest system. So 
if we uh, try to see it in the form of uh, picture then what we have this is uh, a raised to 6 minus 6 a raised to 5 plus 9 a raised to 4 plus 4 a cube minus 12 a square plus 2 a and minus i so this is the block and now it has reduced to 2a okay so after using the calamandan theorem it has reduced to 2a minus i so tell me which is the block which will have the less calculation and less complications Neha, which is the block uh, which will have less calculation and less uh, complications? Neha, are you there? Block 2. So, this is the first block and this is the second block. Okay, and what we did is we use Kala Hamilton theorem. Okay, so this is the application of the Kalamilton theorem that it reduces such a big block to a very simple block. Okay, so this is called the miniaturization of the system. Okay, so is there any uh, doubt uh, in this example? No, oh, sir. Okay. So, uh, see here, uh, what we did uh, with the help of uh, the Kalamantan theorem that uh, we were having a filter experimental result, okay, and after having the experimental result, we calculated the characteristic equation of that filter of that system, and after calculating the characteristic uh, equation, we simplified the experimental result and then we got to know that the block that we have designed to get the result okay can be made smaller okay and that smaller block will give you the same results okay so here we actually miniaturize the system okay so when we have the large systems okay so this was with just uh, three by three okay so if you have the large one suppose you have thousand by thousand okay and then uh, if i consider the matrix is thousand by thousand and then uh, that matrix raised to 50 okay so it will be very big for the calculation okay and it will be again a time consuming Okay, so if I have A is a matrix, 1000 by 1000, and then I have to calculate the 50th power of that 1000 by 1000 matrix, then it will be difficult. But calculating the smaller powers will be more easy. Okay, so that's why if I know A is 1000 by 1000 matrix, then its 1000 power is going to be uh, 0. Okay, and we can reduce it, we can reduce the system by using the Kalamantan theorem. So that's why this Kalamantan theorem is very, very important tool to reduce the system, to miniaturize the system. So if you have any difficulty or any doubt, you can please ask. Imanshu got the idea how the Kalamantan theorem works and what we have to do exactly in Kalamantan theorem. Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Shivam, you got the idea? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aditya, you understood the concept? Yes, sir. Understood. Great. Zaid, do you have yes, any sir. doubt? Do you have any doubt? No. Okay. That's good. Okay. So, if uh, any one of you have any doubt, uh, you can please ask. Om, any doubt? Uh, no, sir, no, sir. Rishi, any doubt?
is there any doubt rishi okay neeturaj any doubt okay that's good uh, you don't have any doubt very good sneha any doubt so i hope uh, you got the idea of uh, their matrices their characteristic equations kalamilton theorem and how uh, the kalamilton theorem miniaturizes the system or how it can be used uh, to get the smallest system and uh, very less complicated very simple system from the complicated one okay and that's good